Hello, welcome to this exciting instalment of where I'm up to um, on the CT build. So, got me a new inner tube, got me a new tire. So let's fit that, take the rear wheel off, fit that to the bike. And while we've got the wheel off, we'll have a look underneath and give it a touch up with the old uh, hammer right as well. Clean all this up in here. The hammer right in there. Hammer right down here as well. Clean all that up. Just to protect it, probably all right. I mean, someone's already done some of it. Yeah, it's gonna be a bit of a get this chain off, maybe. Well, I've got the rear rack off. Give this a clean up and a re hammer right that as well. we'll touch up these little bits. That's just dirt, that's fine. But yeah, a little bit of surface rust there. Let's just hammer right all this. Protect it all as best we can. On. Oh, that'll do. That'll do. Put that back on the bike another day after this is fried a few times. So I've done a few, cleaned it up in there. Gave it a good old uh, brush of the uh, hammer right. Well, they give it another brush over again, but it's looking good in there now anyway, so. It's looking much better than before. Oh, uh, I have to come back in a few days when this is all dry and just go over once a day if it's warm enough. <laughs> right, another day in the shed. Um, yeah, let's get some more paint on this then. The paint's been a few days now. It's plus eight today, so that should be just about warm enough to paint, it just means that it's going to take forever to dry. Uh, so yeah, need to get under there, get some more layers in there. But yeah, it's looking much better than it was anyway. So, by the end of this week, I can start putting it back together again. Right, let's get on with it. Right, well there's not much I can do today to be honest, because it's cold, I've painted that. Um, found out that turning the wires every now and then, turning the handlebars every now and then disconnects the uh, ignition. So I need to, I've rewired it again, the ignition, um, and then I'm going to, yeah, just leave it and see if it does want to undo again. But it, yeah, it undid from here. Um, but yeah, I need to sort all that out. I just got a delivery as well of, I think, light bulbs. So I'm going to have a look at that. Do that for a bit and come back to another day. I need to go to the shed to do the next layer of paint. I kind of don't want to go because it's really storming outside. <laughs> Lovely pitter patter of rain. Okay, so let's carry on doing a little bit of painting on there. I put the rear, no, no, right, so I put the rear wheel on and I've uh, wired this all up, so this is all secure now. So behind here is the um, CDI, um, the rectifier. So I've zip tied it around here, so it's it's cushioned and it's not moving, which is important. Um, I might have to undo this to feed the fuel line through, but we'll see. First of all, I just wanted to make sure this all fits. Uh, that's the flasher relay. I've got the uh, positive and negative wires there, which I won't be using just yet. I'll keep it off, so I'll just take them off. I'm gonna put the uh, fuse in there as well, and then hopefully, fingers crossed, this all fits still. Ah, the flasher relay is bigger, so okay, I have to rework where I can mount that. So just the flasher relay sticks out a bit. I guess it does. Right, let's refigure that one out. It could fail. Oh wow, GoPro, thank you so much for finally joining us. Right, so that can go behind here. 
and then that all fits on like so. Fashion relay, I'll zip tie it um, to the back or something for now. But yeah, they, it probably it probably will fail at some point. I've had them fail in the past. But a flasher reload is only for the indicators, so it's not a massive problem if it fails. Um, it's not like it's going to leave me stranded. I'm going to make sure this all covers up all this. And it's not quite there. Oh, we're so close. What is blocking me now? So close. There's a little gap that I'm not happy with. Not happy with that little gap. So we'll find out what's going on there. Okay, so I've got all that covered up. There is a small gap, but I think that might be due to the fact that this cover has a break in it, and that might be making it a little bit short. So that's an old repair that someone's done. So I might have to get a new one of these. I might, want, I, if I see one of these, I might get one of these. I might try a Honda Cub one, see if it fits, or I can modify it or something. Um, I don't know if they add a bit of extra seam around the top or something. Anyway, fuel line time. So I'm going to hook this up. Um put the tank in loosely then hook the carb up and see if these pipes are long enough because I I did measure and once they're down that should give me the enough but it could be a bit too short I don't know but it's best to check it all first these are both the same length hopefully that's enough to do it though um, right let's put some hose clamps on and get this hooked up right there we go um, Carburetor's sort of in loosely. I'm gonna to have to undo it to re-gasket it and stuff. Uh, tanks in the tank wires. Tank wires? Uh, help, brain. Um, the tank wires um, go into the carb, but they're a bit too long, so I need to cut them down, which is great, because they're too long. That's fine. I'm gonna attach the tank a bit more properly. Put this back on. You know, I'm kind of interested to see if this air box lines up because this cylinder head might be a little bit further that way, I don't know. And then this one has to line up and then I have to, man, I'm gonna have to really get these wires up here somehow and just, yeah, it's gonna be very tight. Right, uh, next job. Find my other glove. I put it down and I've lost it and it's cold in here. Right, so I put this rack back on, putting this rack back on and then put the tank back on get everything to a sort of more stable position, wheel the bike out, give the uh, shed a quick clean and uh, I'll probably catch, if you want to see more of these videos, what these videos are, it's just me prattling about in this shed for a, a week. Usually most of these videos is a week's work or a few days work anyway, um, an hour here, an hour there, an hour where I can spare, there's daylight etc. Um, and it's not too cold. That's all these videos are, and then I just put them into a little cut down version, like you see here. If you want to see more, then I guess you can always like, comment, subscribe, whatever. Um, thank you for the patrons, and uh, hopefully, I'll see you again in a week or so with another update of the bike. Of course, if you're a patron, you get the videos a lot sooner. Anyway, that's all. Thanks for watching. Uh, goodbye.